Well, look at what we have here, y'all. So this is in Mediaite. They say, liberals turn on Liz Cheney after she celebrates downfall of Roe versus Wade. It was going so well, Liz. So let me take this moment to pause and say, I told you so. I told you, I told you, I told you. The entire time that I was sitting there front row watching Democrats and liberals praising Liz Cheney, I was cringing, I was wincing, I was dying inside because what those people were espousing to the world, whether or not they knew it, is I have no principles and I do not care about policy. Because yes, look, Liz Cheney, there is one issue where she is correct. That one issue is the 2020 election was not stolen. Donald Trump is an authoritarian. He's a, a wannabe dictator. And he's wrong about all that. Great. Liz, credit where credit is due on that one issue. Thank you for being a voice on that front. But what I was seeing was very concerning because there are Democrats and there are liberals who are out there with their pom-poms cheerleading for Liz Cheney. Yay, Liz! 2024 Liz Cheney? Maybe she should be our first female president. I'm not kidding. I actually saw a Democrat say stuff like that. I actually saw it with my own two eyes. Maybe she should be president. The reason why this is psychotic is that we know what her voting record is. 538 tracked everything in the age of Trump. She voted, I think the number is 88% of the time with Donald Trump. N nine out of 10 votes are right in alignment with Trump. So you can't say this is our anti-Trump savior, the bulwark against Trumpism, who will then govern 90% the exact same way. Well, you, because then what you're admitting is the only reason I don't like Trump is because he's crass and he's rude and he does mean tweets and his aesthetic pisses me off. It's deeper than that for me. In fact, I think the, the crassness is just kind of funny at this point. But in terms of the voting record, that's what I'm horrified by. What he actually does to the country. His biggest legislative accomplishment was a giant tax cut that went to the rich. 83% of the benefits went to the top 1% at a time when we already had historic income and wealth inequality. That's what I'm horrified by. I'm horrified by waking up one day and seeing that Donald Trump just assassinated a top Iranian commander overnight as he was fighting ISIS on the ground, nearly sparking World War III. That's what I'm concerned about. That's what I'm concerned about. Liz Cheney was probably cheering those things on. She probably voted for that tax cut package, and she was probably happy that we assassinate random people with no declaration of war, which is massively unconstitutional. So Liz Cheney is terrible. Her father is terrible. He should be behind bars. He's a war criminal. He's a torturer. Liz Cheney is the biggest defender of war crimes and torture. Never met a war she doesn't like. She's part of the problem. She's part of the problem. So now, finally, liberals are waking up to Liz. And uh, the reason is, look, Cheney, for all of her flaws, she is honest. And so she feels how she feels about January 6th. Good for her. But she also feels how she feels about every other policy issue. And on Roe versus Wade, she's on the record. Overturn it. I don't like it. Okay, so let's read, read some of this. Representative Liz Cheney uh, of Wyoming, position as vice chair on the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol attack, has endeared her to many Democrats. Not us. <laughs> not the left. The left is not for her. The honeymoon ended for some, for some of them on Friday after she praised the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The controversial uh, ruling turned the political world upside down. Abortion laws... Abortion laws will now be handled by the states, many of which have already outright banned the procedure. No amount of opposition to former President Donald Trump bought Cheney enough goodwill with some Democrats to overcome a tweet she sent out after the court's decision was announced. Quote, I have always been strongly pro-life, the Wyoming Republican tweeted. Today's ruling by the Supreme Court returns power to the states and the people of the states to address the issue of abortion under state law. Now, I actually think Liz Cheney thought the wording of this tweet might get the Democratic horde off of her back. Because she says, she couches it. Oh, today's ruling by the Supreme Court allows the states to determine the issue, which is what I support. Let the states decide it. So in other words, she's not saying I'm for a full national abortion ban. She's saying, oh, I leave it up to the states. I think she may have thought like, oh, the people who are my new allies might be like, eh, okay, fine. No. Cheney is currently courting Democratic voters in Wyoming to help her avoid a defeat in her August primary. But with two sentences, many people on the left realize the daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney is still a Cheney and still a Republican. I want to correct this. It's not people on the left. People on the left have always been warning about the likes of Liz Cheney. It's the liberals. It's the Democrats. So here we go. This guy says, oh, God, it was going so well, Liz. 
Uh, somebody respond. Rosie O'Donnell said, "Just when I started to admire you, but yes, Rosie, that's the problem. Why did you ever admire her in the first place? Does the torture not matter to you? Apparently, it didn't. Does the supporting endless war not matter to you? Apparently, it didn't. Does the supporting tax cuts for the rich at every turn not matter to you? Apparently, it didn't. Well, Rosie's rich. Maybe that's why it didn't. Does supporting deregulation not matter to you? Apparently, it didn't." She's reliably right wing on every issue. I'm sure there's not a single outsourcing bill that Liz Cheney didn't vehemently support destroying the working class in America. And there's Rosie O'Donnell. Yay, Liz. Yay, Liz. You don't like Trump. I don't like Trump. Hooray. Even though she is Trump. She's just Trump minus trying to steal an election, which didn't even work. That's bad. That's also bad. Okay. More. Let Liz Cheney's comments on Roe serve as a reminder that internalized misogyny is both real and powerful and that no one should get overexcited about her willingness to participate in the January 6th committee. One moral act does not a moral person make. Okay. Uh, agreed on the second half of that. The first part of that, that this is just internalized misogyny. I don't necessarily agree with that. There are people who are pro-life who are not misogynist. They just think that even a pile of goo, a gamete, a zygote, whatever a fetus two weeks in is equal to a bo fully functioning adult human being. Now, I don't agree with that. I think that's crazy, but there are some people who believe that. So I don't like the flippant, like, this is just misogyny. No, you know, you can handle people's arguments at face value and dissect it that way. You don't have to, like, read into what they're saying. Anyway, let's continue. Don Winslow. Some Democrats were literally saying only days ago they would support Liz Cheney for president. Yeah. Those are, those are some, uh, some interesting Democrats. How far we have fallen. How transactional the world has become. Liz Cheney wants you to carry a rapist child to term. Liz Cheney does not care if you were raped by a family member. You will deliver that child. Your body is not yours. It belongs to the Republican Party. See your freedom and democracy hero below. <laughs> so they're turning her. I like that they're turning on her. I do. But honestly, that argument is not the best argument. I, I don't know for sure when it comes to Liz Cheney, but there are. Plenty of pro-life Republicans who say, I'm going to make an exception for rape. I'm going to make an exception for life of the mother. Now, their position is still wrong in the grander scheme of things because they should support a right to choose, certainly up to a reasonable line, right? And they don't. But there are a lot of them who make exceptions for rape and life of the mother. And so, again, just, you know, I don't know what Liz's position is, but she may support an exception for rape. So I'm not sure this is the most fair criticism. But again, I do like how they're turning on her. But it took this to get them to turn on her. It wasn't the wars. Wasn't the torture, wasn't the voting nine out of ten times with Trump, it was this. Also, some of y'all can quit making Liz Cheney your damn freedom fighter right now. True, true. Before America continues its chant of heroics for Liz Cheney, here she states her support for today's SCOTUS Roe v. Wade decision. True. Uh, is this your queen? It is indeed, many Democrats' queens. Never forget what they are. That You should have remembered that from the beginning when people were sucking her off from day one. She was never going to be anyone other than who she is. Temporary ally in one war. True. That is correct. Just shows that being on the right side of one issue doesn't make you a good person. She's still a Cheney, for fuck's sake. True. All right, there you go. Look, it's... it's. I will say this. It does kind of annoy me that apparently it's only when a social issue comes up that these Democrats care. Um, I, I want to beg these Democrats and beg these liberals... For the love of God, you should have cared about the war issue, the torture issue, the economics issue, tax cuts for the rich. Do you not care about those issues at all, which is why you overlooked those things and sucked her off when she was doing the January 6th stuff? Because those things were clear for everybody to see all along, and they still decided to put her on a pedestal, which again tells me they care deeply about Roe versus Wade. Good, I do too. I support Roe versus Wade. But they didn't care about the economic stuff. They didn't care about the war stuff. They didn't care about the torture stuff. So, you know, liberals and Democrats, wake up. Wake up. This stuff was obvious from the beginning, but I guess better late than never. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.